All right, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick video. Uh, I'm sure this horse has been beaten to death and beyond, but just in case people still having problems trying to find something on this, this right here is a beautiful specimen of a 1988 Fox Body Mustang. All original, true survivor. No modifications, no nothing like that. Got the turbine wheels still on it. Today we're doing a throttle position sensor, making sure that it's still in spec. Now there's a lot of debate on where it should be voltage-wise. Uh, whatever makes your car run best is all I got to say. It should be between 0.87 and 1 volt, give or take. But what we got is this Mustang is bucking. It's bucking real hard. Uh, trying to figure that out. And at the same time, uh, when you let off the gas pedal, the RPMs want to stay up real high for a couple seconds and drop back down. So what we did is we pinned out the throttle position sensor. And to do that, you're going to want to get in. Now you can do this with a set of sewing needles. You ain't got to have no special equipment here. It's going to take that green wire. You can see where I got it pinned. Just poke it right through the sheathing. And then on the black wire, I got another one right there. Man, this traffic. People suck. And our reading is about 0.99. You can see it fluctuating between 1 volt, 0.9. So that tells me I'm sitting about 0.99. Wide open throttle. We'll go down here. You can see I'm just moving my throttle cables. If you see that, we're going to hit, should be 5 volts. Let's make sure everything's touching good up here. And try this again. There we go. It should hit 5 volts, right around 5 volts, wide open throttle. You can see it's going to come back down as I release it. Back down to 0.99. Back up to 4.7. So that looks good. Next, we're going to do a base idle reset on this Joker and see if that goes ahead and helps it. Y'all be good. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you.